Welcome to another fishing video guys. So today's session will be very straightforward. Time to fish for some herring because I need some bait. Let's see how it goes. Let's, Let's go! go! Now if you're new to fishing, herring is actually a great way to start because it's easy and it can be quite fun because the success rate is very high. Now this fishing session will be a short one because we got plans after lunch but hopefully we should have time to catch some herring. As I mentioned herring fishing is very easy, it doesn't require any bait so if you're new to fishing all you need is a sabika rig basically is a line with a, a lot of small hooks and a weight so I'm using 100 grams of weight which is typically what you have and this spear depending on the current you can have lesser or even higher but 100 is a good starting point okay first cast let it sink a little bit and slowly jig i already got a bite <laughs> <laughs> already got a fish on <laughs> now a tip when you're fishing for herring usually there is a lot at the same spot so when you do have a bite don't be in a hurry to reel in because a lot of more fishes can uh, get hooked because you can feel uh, that uh, it starts to become heavier that means more fishes have uh, have taken the bite okay let's reel up and another tip, when you're going to reel up, lower the rod like so, I'm not sure if it's shown now, but you want to keep the herring under the surface, or any fish actually, right up until the end, because you minimize the risk of uh, losing it. <laughs> I mean, I know herring is easy, but the first cast for big ones it's a good start and uh, i'm not gonna eat this guys I'm, i will as i said i will uh, save them for bait so i'm gonna show you how to easily dispatch them take your finger in the mount like so and break its neck and it's gone now the reason I'm wearing gloves is I don't want to keep smelling like herring all day. Okay, let's throw out again. I'm not letting it uh, sink much. Just a couple of seconds and wait and if there is a lot of herring you don't even have to reel you can start to feel that they are biting it's a beautiful fishing day actually the forecast said that it's gonna be windy but at least it hasn't started yet Fish on <laughs> again wait a couple of seconds so more get hooked it's actually uh, fun I haven't fished for herring for a while actually oh now we got a couple of ones so now they are you can feel there is a fight actually 
So again, if you're new to fishing and you want to have high success rate, fish for herring. No, there was four, but two fell, and that's typical with herring fishing because their, how can I say, lips are very fragile. So when they start to shake, they easily fall off. As you can see here, like barely any skin. By the way, if you're enjoying this video so far, feel free to smash the like button and subscribe. It would really mean a lot. Fish on. <laughs> Oh, I missed this. Oh, now we got a couple of ones. Now, now they're fighting. I think I lost one. You can feel when uh, the fight like stalls. But we still have a couple of ones, I think. Yeah, there are only two left. There were, I'm sure there was four before. Another tip, you can. Yeah, now he unhooked himself, but you can also shake them, like so. And they fall off. Now I know a lot of fishermen don't dispatch the fish. Sure, you don't have to, but I think it's... It's the least thing you can do. There's no reason for them to... Suffer more than needed. Only been here for like... Five minutes. <laughs> I already got more than enough. I think I'm gonna catch a couple of more because uh, I'll be put them in the freezer. So I got bait for cod fishing when I need it. Third cast, third bite. I love when the tip of the rod is doing like that. I just hope that it was uh, sea trout instead of herring. But sea trout season starts literally in two days, so I can't wait. There were four. I actually prefer smaller sizes for bait, because then I can put the whole herring on on the cod rig rather than cutting it up a few more and then I'm good with the herring gotta fix my hooks and this is typical when you fish for herring or mackerel with a sabiki rig that they get tangled and then soon enough they are useless and you need to put another sabiki rig there we go. We got lucky. I think we managed to save it. Just gonna wait. We just threw in, haven't reeled in. And they're already biting. Not sure if it's shown in the tip of the... In the camera, but yeah, there's a fish on. <laughs> you see how, e how easy it is? I'm not even fishing, I'm just throwing in. Feels like sheeting. Well, now we got a couple of ones. Now we can start the reading. Okay. This is more than enough for me. Now what I will do is first I want to get some water to wash my hands. Grab some bags. Tip is when you're gonna freeze in any kind of bait fish actually. Don't put everything in the same bag because I usually put them two and two or three and three because you mo most of the time 
at least for cod fishing, you don't need more than two or three herring for one session. Wash them. Now, I'm not packing the last two ones because since I got some more time before I need to end this fishing session, I'm gonna actually try to fish for some cod with them. So keep watching. Still think that these pieces are a bit too big, so I think I'll have to cut it up a bit. See that it moved, but it's actually still dead. It's just that the spinal cord, there's nerves, which is uh, causing it to move. Let's see if we can make it move by t playing around with the spinal cord. Yeah, you see? That's kind of freaky, actually. But trust me, the, this fish is dead, <laughs> more than dead. See? It's freaky, but it's cool in a way. Yeah, that's enough. Some bait line, secure it. There we go. Now I actually won't be needing this herring. So let's give it to the to the birds to the seagulls or to the grabs, whoever is first to get it. Oh, he got it. <laughs> Fintorsk! Check out the cod that he caught. Yeah, I got a lot of direct sill. Oh, that was jättefin. Now that's a keeper cod. <laughs> now this is what we want. Gratis. I have a time left, so I think I also prove a little bit here. Goes it well? I catch it here. You might have a fish on again, the, the fishman. Yeah. Another cod. That's promising. Let's hope we're lucky like the fisherman is. Seem to have a <laughs> a nice cod again. It's fighting. It's heavy. Skal jag hjälpa dig med någonting? Most, most, uh, Lotan trött, uh, yeah. He's uh, letting it uh, get tired first. Oh, this is exciting. This might be a really big cod, actually. Oh, yeah, I can see it. 
Oh. <laughs> I mean, usually cod don't fight that much, but this one is uh, putting up a fight. Oh, oh, oh. oh my God. <laughs> this is a monster. <laughs> monster. Oh, wow. Oh. We can shock this. Oh, <laughs> oh my God! Oh my God! Gratis! <laughs> and a star and an andra, it's even it's bigger. Oi, oi, oi. Oh, I'm having a fight. I think. I think I got a fish on. Yeah, but it's it's not fighting. I think I got a fish on. <laughs> but it's not putting up a fight. I don't think it's a monster, but it's a. No, no, no! It got off. Uh, false alarm. Yeah, I got through the slap there. The seal piece gets back. A new torchklagen after New Year, so it's one torch per person. And then from 15 January till 31st of March, so you can't fish a torch. But just now it's full for five torch per person. 3.3 kilos and this one he had 4,3 Yeah, that's good Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, caught a bunch of herring, <laughs> very easy as you can see. I really recommend you to go and fish for herring if you're new to fishing, that, that way you will uh, get instant success. I got one bite on the cod and I would love to fish more but unfortunately uh, I don't have time. So I hope you enjoyed this video, as always thank you for watching, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll catch you on the next one.